from America. Give me that wheel. just decided to go to South America with the Fletcher expedition. We're leaving tomorrow on the Hermosa. I can't stand being under the constant threat of death from the scarab. Yes, I know. I, I've read the papers. You've been through a terrible ordeal. Is there anything I can do? Yes. My ship sails at four in the afternoon. Could you bring me the main crown jewels in time for me to turn them over to my dealer? Certainly. Uh, I'll be there in good time. Is there anything else? No, thank you. The district attorney is attending to all the arrangements. He's keeping a police guard here until I leave and furnishing an escort to the pier. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm. It should be simple to work with them now. Matson. This is an assignment for Agent M32. Have him make a reservation on the Hermosa. He struck the steamship line to call for his truck at his rooming house. Come in, Doctor. Thank you. You'll find the collection intact. Of course. Beautiful, aren't they? Precious stones that women love and men die for. True enough. Would you sign this receipt, please? your trip will make you forget the horrible experiences you've had. I'm sure it will. Perhaps by the time you return, the district attorney will have caught the scarab. I'll keep trying. Hello? Have them drive in. I'll check their credentials at the house. It's the expressman for your baggage. Well, bon voyage. Thank you, doctor.
Hello? Sergeant? Professor Dodge has been murdered. Murdered? Pull that baggage truck till we check out. Too late. It pulled out and headed north. Have your men search every inch of the house and grounds. I'm going after that truck. Search the ground. this truck. How'd that trunk get open? I don't know. It was closed when we put Mr. Dodge's baggage in. Dodge has been murdered. And the man who did it hid in that trunk and then got out somewhere along this road. Who shipped it? There you are. John Taylor, 721 West Avenue. But he checked out and was just leaving when we made the pickup. Naturally, he would. You finish your route, then bring that trunk to my office. It'll be checked for fingerprints. Did you have any luck, Chief? Yes. Get me the police commissioner immediately. The fingerprints on the trunk identified Taylor as Lefty Harper, a criminal with a long police record. I'm going to start a search for him. Hello? Oh, hello, Commissioner. I want to drag that thrown out for Lefty Harper, alias John Taylor. He was found dead in his car half an hour ago, shot through the head. Where's the body? At the morgue. The car is downstairs, back at police headquarters. We looked it over. The place and registration slip are phony. But we did find a service station sticker, which might be a lead. Good. What's the address? Allen's Gas Station, 5th and Manchester. Gail okay, can check that for us. I'll meet you at the morgue. Yeah. I serviced that car and delivered it around the corner to the fiber box company. Thank you. I'll go there. Taylor worked here a week or two and then quit. That's all I can tell you. I see. May I use your telephone? Sure. Hello? Yes, Gail. Where are you? Fiber Box Company. Taylor was a transit worker here, but he left. They don't know anything more about him. That's what they say. We're dealing with clever criminals. Now, let's try something like... Let me jot that address down. I'll go right over. Thank you. Well, Miss Richards. Lewis. What's she doing here? She was asking Bob Taylor. I told her we didn't know anything. This is the girl who works with Captain America. She's going to tell us who Captain America really is. Aren't you, Miss Richards? No. You can change your mind. Show her how that paper cutter works.
pass the talk. Got more nerve than I figured. I better phone the boss and put it up to him. Lois, who used this phone last? The girl. She left the connection open so they could hear us. We've got to get her away fast. Hold! Captain America. 